time you're messing with a star Morning World of Asphalt, it's Saturday morning, August 6th, and we are doing a really cool new driveway installation here today, and we're taking this video, hopefully it's going to be a little educational, uh, we're going to show you something technical, uh, 21st century work going on here, we're a little heavy on equipment today because we are going to show you how to install a brand new driveway removal installation, hopefully we're going to do this like in four hours. Can we get some binder down this afternoon? We get this baby prepped by one o'clock, I'll be a happy man, I'll go swimming. 20th century, this would be a day, two day job. Um, we are set up that we're gonna do this in a few hours. So what's going on here is we have an existing driveway. It's a builder's driveway, they installed it when the house was built in 2005. Nothing special about it, actually all wrong. I always tell my customers, the longer your driveway is, the bigger turnaround you need in front of your garage. This house has a three car garage. It has a turnaround that's about 30 by 30. So the driveway being a couple hundred feet long, two cars pull in and you're backing out of the driveway. Now on your driveway, you could back out of the blind, but when the mother-in-law comes over, she's on the grass, she's over the block, she's on the side. So you really wanna make the driveway drivable for everybody. And you gotta have parking also. So this is what I would call your driveway. And in the back, is your parking area. So there's sort of two things going on in a driveway, especially on a long driveway. This is not super long, but it's 250 feet maybe. Once you get in the back, two cars pull in there and you're moving cars Christmas Eve when <laughs> grandma wants to leave early, which you do not want to do. So what we are in a very high-end neighborhood here and we get around these multi-million dollar homes, people always ask me, what can we do besides blacktop? We don't want it to look like commercial area but we need a big driveway so they end up spending a hundred thousand dollars on blocks and this happens all the time we do install hundred thousand dollar driveways in these neighborhoods they want blocks they want inlays they want lighting which is all great and beautiful but you can also build a nice driveway without spending a hundred thousand dollars and that's what we're going to do here. There is going to be some masonry work done here, but we're not going 100 grand on this driveway. And we're going to give them drivability, parking, and beauty at the same time. So this existing driveway, which I would call a 1980s looking straight in, driveway turns into the garage, does nothing for the landscape of the property. The driveway is going to be drivable and look beautiful, it has to be sexy. It has to have curves, turns, and if you make your driveway shape nice, it'll add to your landscape. Now what we're gonna do here today, being the configuration of the property lines, the septic system, the well, we are limited to what we can do here today. So what we've decided to do, and the customer was nice enough to say, Listen, this is my vision and here's what we're gonna do. And she gave me carte blanche, she's a fussy lady, but um, she said, go for it and we're gonna see what's gonna happen out here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put a circular driveway in here. This house is about 200 feet from the road. It actually sits on a 45 degrees. Um, so the house is on an angle from the road. So a, 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 store, a typical, circular driveway would not work well here um, because it would be too deep it would come in and be very big which we don't need that much asphalt if we did the two entrance thing so we're going to go with one entrance in my opinion when you're going to do a circle when you're going to do a circular when you're going to um, put in a horseshoe whatever you want to call it the front door needs to be the center point and the focal point of your circle i don't like when the driveway extends the end of the house or the end of the house too much. So with the shape of this yard, if we did a circle, the edge of the driveway would end up 75 feet over the opposite <laughs> side of the driveway, which is not gonna work here. And there's a septic system here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an entrance right towards the front door and we're gonna do a complete circle in here. 
Now, the technical part of this driveway is 21st century. We actually brought our milling machine up here. You might be a redneck if you take your grass out with a milling machine. We have an excavator and a skid steer. All John Deere is going crazy today. John Deere working going crazy today. And we are going to do this driveway so fast, it's going to make your head spin. <laughs> um, we're actually going to be 100% green here today, all recycled. So this driveway is going to, the grass is going to be removed. A couple loads are going to go off site to another job around the corner. Asphalt's all going to be removed. It's going to be put in the bottom of the new cutout area for a sub base. And we're going to top dress it with some gravel. The mason's going to come in, do a little bit of block work, and then we're going to pave it. Um, and everything 100% recycled, 100% green, 90% of this product is going to stay right here. Now the 20th century way would be to take this machine right here, the machines, dig out the grass, truck it away, dig out the driveway, truck it away, um, bring in all new material. With our milling machine here, we are going to take our mill, strip this asphalt right out, strip the lawn right out with our milling machine, and we're going to do this so quick your head is going to spin. It's about 8 o'clock now. By 10.30 you're going to have a new driveway boxed out all in here and we're gonna see what size shape it is. We're gonna grab a can of paint, a tape measure, paint some lines, and go for it. Let's see what we got. He needs a talk show. <laughs> he does. What was he talking about? I don't know, he said this client is a fussy client. Special talk to him. What's going on? Not much, man. Not much, we're gonna teach him how to pave a driveway today, I heard. Something like or that. Or something like that, rip it out, pave yeah. it. Rip out some grass. Talked about doing a turnaround. You say, more than world of asphalt, we got a real John Deere day today. <laughs> we got the Hom 12. <laughs> so the technical part of this is a straight up John Deere day. John Deere 333G, track loader, best in the industry, especially with that big bucket. Um, braiding, ripping, loading, that thing to beat. We got our, our John Deere 75 uh, excavator, about a eight, 17,000 pound machine, perfect for this light work here with a four foot twist to wrist bucket. We got our um, John Deere 12 roller, which we don't go anywhere with. And obviously we got the mill here. Uh, the mill might seem a little extravagant here, but when you see how fast this is going to go. Woo! <laughs> well, there goes the neighborhood. I've been here for five minutes. Please work in. It's my favorite shirt. Send me a new one. Please, large. So wait, he's paving over here and everything too? The whole thing's going to be black top. Really? Sorry. No grass? Big parking lot. No grass. No. Well, nobody wants to take care of grass. <laughs> You're going to do car shows here on the weekends. <laughs> Coffee and cards. There's no drawings on this, no blueprints. We're doing this all by eye. We're going to box this driveway out. Uh, maybe a little big, a little wide. We're going to adjust it as we go. But um, a couple cans of spray paint, tape measure, piece of string. Going to lay this baby out. And uh, I'll just give you a hint. When this driveway is complete, you're going to love it. So usually I don't run a ground guy, but today I'm going to hook up my level pro on the bottom and I'm gonna run the ground and put one of the boys up top and let them run it because it's gonna get a little technical with this depth and then the grass. So I'm gonna run the ground for, for today. Hey, let's hey. go. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna take the paint gun and spray up my vision and then we'll pull the tapes. I'm just gonna do this by eye. <laughs> I got a good eye. It's like a laser. Right there. I'm trying to put this circle in right for that door. And I don't want to extend too much past the end of the house. So this is our center line. I'm going to use that as my go-to. It's going to have one end. Part of the driveway right here is gone. Top soil is going to go in over here, planting a new one. Okay, to make this baby sexy, <laughs> you got to have curves. Fifteen foot, nice flares in the front. It can't be straight. Nothing about it can be straight. Everything's got to have a curve. going to be the outside edge and then when you head towards it we're going to readjust the garden too 
Um, but when you head towards the door, you gotta be a nice sweeping curve, and you gotta have a large eight foot wide entrance, because this is gonna make it look grand. You know, and then you plop a tree here and a light. Same thing on this side. You know, now they have a what? Three foot wide sidewalk. You got an eight foot step, a four foot wide sidewalk, and all this stuff in the way. This needs to be big here. This needs to be big. So that's the outside edge. Sidewalk coming out. We don't even need a sidewalk anymore because there's going to be no more shoveling for these people. And we are going to take this right into here. And it's going to be wide here because we're going to do enough for a car to park and enough for a car to pass. So hopefully when this is done, UPS, Federal Express, um, Amazon shows up, company shows up, they're going to be push towards the front door. The garage is on the side of the house. We don't want strangers going to the side of the house, going towards the back door. We want them to use the front door. And the back driveway is gonna be a courtyard area just for the homeowner, the kids playing basketball, anyone over in the back, that's gonna be theirs. Everyone else is gonna be out here because we don't want people in our backyard. We're gonna marry the two driveways together with a nice sexy curve. Now these turns and these radiuses is really gonna make my landscape look nice because we're gonna instead of this straight garden that they have here, which is very nice, but it actually there's all stone in front of this house and the bushes are all overgrown, you can't even see it. So we're gonna expand that and the, the gardens are gonna be circular. Now we're gonna lay out the inside of it. That being the outside edge, we're gonna go 15, definitely want width here because it's going to be curved so we don't want people driving over the lawn. I've laid out thousands of these things. I love doing this. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll, we'll box this baby out 15 or 16 feet. We may end up paving a little smaller, a little wider. But some rough paint lines in the ground so we get an idea what this thing's going to look like. Come on, I need to get going. I don't want to be here all day. Okay, so that's the inside edge. Again, just a rough mark. All right, our inside's gonna look roughly like this. That center piece right there behind you, that tree. This is gonna be the focal point. This is all going to be landscape, grass. Hopefully they do a flagpole, <laughs> right? Put a flagpole and landscaped all inside here. Um, and again, this is going to be drivable. They're going to pull in, loop right around, and pull out. And the idea is to keep everyone out of there. The only people who's going to go back there are the homeowners. If you look at this, probably what? Two, 250 down to the road. And then you look at this turnaround here, the three-car garage. You can barely park back out of the garage. So this driveway was obviously not laid out by any professional. Uh, so the new driveway, and we do have a property line issue here, but same thing, we're gonna bust this out, pick up 10, 15 feet here. No straight lines. Everything's gonna curve. Landscape up against the fence, and this bump out area here is gonna allow them to back out of the garage obviously but if you do have uh, extra cars that need to park they can park over here and your driving area is still free so you can't park a car here and back out of the garage spend all this money on your driveway you can't even get out of the garage with two cars so you always want to pull off for the cars to park and leave your driveway as clear as possible So the idea is when I, when again, when we get these customers who don't want asphalt, um, a lot of people will do gravel, they'll do oil and stone, they'll do mason work. Um, and I always explain to them that if a driveway's laid out right and you've got some nice sexy curves, the driveway can be, the asphalt can be beautiful, but not when it's 1970 subdivision, pulls in, you do a 90 degree turn in your garage. That does look like crap. But if you can put some curves in your driveway, you can add to your landscape a lot. 
trying to eyeball this quickly to get this symmetrical as possible in front of the door. Once we get it closed, then we can bring out the tape measure and stuff. This job is a balanced site. Everything's staying, everything's gonna be with you. So I got a couple lines going on, but now that I've got it pre-marked out, I'm gonna take a different color and um, we can uh, set them in stone a little bit, balance it out a little bit, and uh, give him a line he can cut on, because right now there's three. So I bet my dad just ran through like 50 things we're supposed to do, right? So this is definitely the type of job where like, he'd bring us through, look, look at the lines. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna catch, change the catch face on top, we gotta pull those curbs off, we gotta push that sidewalk back, we gotta take that tree down, and uh, black top's on the way. So this we did use a string line here, center right of the island, right in the middle of the front door. That's gonna be key, this has to be the focal point. Um, again, we're putting a lot of black top here, so this really has to complement the home. I sort of like the way the house sits on a 45, but it's not always easy to make a perfectly symmetrical driveway when the house is on an angle to the road. Actually, the road's coming this way and the house is this way. Probably only 150 feet from there to the road on the right side and the left side's probably 250. That's how much it's cocked. Did you get the binder down this afternoon? We get this baby prepped by one o'clock, I'll be a happy man, I'll go swimming. So the beauty of bringing the mill up here, and I know it might be a little overkill for a driveway, but when we strip this soil out, we're taking it out eight inches deep, already talked to the working guys, they said you're fine, nothing less than, said as long as you're four or five inches on any rocks, you're good. And we did a couple, I dug a couple holes, we're, we're, we should be fine. Hopefully we don't hit any boulders. But when we strip it out with the mill, this topsoil is gonna be like powder. Um, it's gonna go, some of it's gonna all stay in here. Um, we're probably gonna take out two loads, which is going to another job. It's not gonna be screened, but it's gonna be, where all they have to do is rake it out, because it's gonna be like powder. Driveway we're gonna turn into three inch minus, track that all on the bottom, get a couple loads of clean stone on, uh, gravel on top, track it all in, and get the mason here and pave it. No good, Alvarado. He's driving on the people's lawn. <laughs> He's driving the triaxle on the people's lawn. The reason why we didn't stake it all out and measure it properly, we want to rough it in a little big. Trucks are coming around the circles, the milling machine's got to come around the circle. So we're going to box everything out wider. Um, and then once everything is stripped out, um, the driveway and the base is gonna be first, and then all your landscaping, your blocks, and everything gets married into us. If we're three or four feet plus or minus on the edges, it's good, because when we're done, we'll take the topsoil and backfill in. So we wanna be a little big here, so these lines are just a guide, they're nothing to go by. Um, after it's all stripped out, then we'll put the stakes in the ground. And uh, this is super exciting, right? Look at that picture, that's pretty cool. You know, in about 30 years from now, my grandkids are gonna look at this and go, what the hell are they doing? We do this with a push of a button, right? Has it rained in a month here, Shane? This is gonna be a little dusty. It's a little hot out here this morning. You got this expensive piece on me? That's all right. I'm soaked, brother. That's all right. I'm soaked. <laughs> Jane, come take a look at this cut. How cool is that? That's so cool. Huh? I think he said it's seven. Hopefully we compact it down a little bit. We're doing like six gravel, two asphalt, so eight inch, roughly. We gotta take the machine, dig out a little here or there. It's not gonna be a big deal, but that's a nice cut, huh? This is what we gotta be a little careful of. Hopefully there's not too many of these. And that's a rock, brother. So I didn't realize how redneck this was until we started doing it. <laughs> you might be a redneck if you take your grass out with a milling machine. <laughs> this is some real Bill Stanley shit, for sure. So we've 
We've been here, what, hour and a half? Belgian blocks are out, all piled up over there, ready to be reset. Sidewalks coming out. Um, most of the turn, most of the circle, we got maybe two more loads to take out of here. We can see it start taking shape now, what we're doing with this circle. As um, soon as that's done, this driveway is gonna be pulled up in a half an hour. We'll go get a few loads of gravel, one o'clock. About American pavement a little bit. A lot of people say, you know, how do they do this? And those guys must be expensive. They got those nice shiny trucks. We take work that we know how to do, we're equipped for, and we have the men and the equipment. It may look expensive, but we move. We live in a world today where it takes people an hour and a half to watch 60 minutes. That's not American pavement. I watch 60 minutes in 45 minutes because we buzz through the commercials. Like I said, potentially very expensive project. Um, this is a Saturday morning. I only got a couple guys here. This is a this is a light day for us. We're gonna be out of here real quick, not charging the customer an arm and a leg. The the fallacy that uh, either we're too busy for you or we are too expensive. Um, not true. We get paid top dollar for our work, but we get stuff done. This uh, entire 8,000 square foot driveway, start to finish, barring the masonry work, we'll be out of here in eight hours. Call it a day. American pavement. We roll. So as you saw, we had a big uptick in followers, right? A couple people like hit me up, congratulations, just joking around and asked if we bought followers. If we were to buy followers, I would have done that a long time ago. We've been at this like, what, six, seven years now? Never really had a big uptake, uptick in followers, so it's been a really solid um, build, I should say. This is, how, this is how you get a lot of followers. See that? 1,800 posts. 1800 posts that's a lot so when people ask how you get so many followers you see that 1800 posts that means i'm i'm out working you on social media posting three reels a day three posts on raised on blacktop don't ask how to get a big following if you only uh, have 50 posts on your page okay you got to put the work in just like anything else as soon as i got back from the john deere classic we had like three videos go viral in one week and then we hit that one for eight million and it just was like another 100 followers like every hour as soon as you refresh. Pretty crazy. So I know you got to take off now because you got another shoot to go yeah. do, which is awesome. We're going to put the gravel in today, have the mason come in and set these blocks, and then uh, once you come back, we'll get the final shot. And like I said, you're going to love it. That's the key words. You're going to love this. Morning World of Asphalt, Labor Day weekend here, and we are completed on this project for the moment. It's not 100% done. Um, because it, the homeowners decided that they have a little more work to do. So what we did was we got them 90% of the way here, but we did want to finish up this video so we could show the world what's going on here. So like I told you, this project was completely recycled. Um, everything was repurposed here. We bought very little material. We did this job very inexpensive. Originally there was ideas that on this property from professional landscape designers to everyone with an opinion and like I told you before the numbers were stupid and outrageous um, that's where experience and some quality equipment comes in if you know what you're doing and you know all this is what I'll tell all of consumers out there because I consume myself when you have an idea in mind and a budget in mind and everyone has a number right if they're telling you that it can't be done, shouldn't be done, it's the wrong way, this is the right way, this is what you have to do, you're probably talking to the wrong people. Because we did this job for actually half the money and we designed it. We didn't need an engineer, we didn't need a landscape designer. It came out beautiful, homeowners really happy, and everything here was repurposed, which was awesome. So totally recycled. So the old driveway is on the ground where I'm standing here. The lawn is now where the old driveway was. We reused the blocks all around the side. The only thing we had to buy, we did go a little further than we wanted to on the blocks because they looked so good, we figured we'd do a little more. We bought about 150 extra block. The rest were all here. The entire sidewalk that was over here before was repurposed. There's a new sidewalk going in the back. Uh, the shrubbery that we took out is sitting here on ice right now. This is gonna be replanted in a few weeks as soon as the weather allows it. And then we put a base coat down here because the people wanted to get out of the dirt. So um, next year when they're done doing some work in the back, we're going to come in and put the top coat on. We laid the blocks flat. Um, we thought it was softer, it looked better, um, smoother. And um, when we're done, we're going to be flush here. And we think it's a really cool look. Um, so the whole project 
American Pavement was here for seven hours on a Saturday and we came here last Thursday and spent three hours here, graded it re and put the base coat down. This entire project we bought five loads of gravel, two loads of topsoil and four loads of blacktop. So this $50,000 driveway is probably about half that cost. Work with what we had and we always like that challenge. Um, again, we designed this driveway to flow um, and add beauty to the property. And again, like I told you in the beginning, a lot of people say they don't want black. We got to do stamped concrete. We got to put inlays. We got to do decorative stone, which is all very expensive. Black can be beautiful if you know how to design the driveway. And I think this, this driveway, as soon as I pulled up, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And we did something really special, which you're going to see at the end. And um, customers happy, we're happy, grass is growing. Um, and here we go, another driveway. And like I said, you're gonna love this one.